Ready? Right? Hello. <laughs> and we're starting off with a bang. Hey, let her rip. Okay. Take a chip. Hello and welcome to week 16 of Camping Corner. It's Mallory. And Tony. Nice to be back again for another week. I know. We missed everybody. I know. It seems so long between filming. It does. You know, we put such hard work into <laughs> to this. Mallory and I made the observation <laughs> on the way into the to the studio this morning. We were talking about how celebrities talk about their hectic filming schedule, and they make a lot more money than we do. Yeah. And this really is pretty... This is fun. It's pretty easy, actually. Any monkey could do this show. <laughs> I mean, look at these two doing it, right? <laughs> hey, so as always, we're going to start off this week's episode with What's the Buzz? Yep. What's the Buzz? All right. First one. Truck. Which truck, Tony? You know, I, I, I'm the heartbeat of America. I'm yeah. not the heartthrob, but the heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's got to be a bow tie. You know, it's the heartbeat of America for me. But, you know, what, what, what about you? I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big truck person, guys. So this is like my husband's. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Dan has made his <laughs> apparent. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, I'm going to, I'm probably your typical girl. Like, I'm going to choose a pretty one, right? <laughs> okay, like, I'll be real. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. Uh, hey, you know what? Call it the way you will. Yeah. You know, so what's your thoughts, guys? Throw some comments down there. You know, Ford, Chevy, Dodge. We all know the the jokes and so on like that, you know, is, you know, fix or repair daily. You know, we'll leave it at that. But, you know, the, the big thing is, guys, you know. First uh, on race day. Yeah. <laughs> Something rebuilt Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. We all know those jokes, guys. So, you know, I put those in the comments, you know. But, <laughs> you yeah. know, and, and for you ladies, if it is just about the pretty truck, you know. You know what? Let's put a challenge out. Okay. Let's see your tow vehicles. Yeah. And you know what? There probably is a lot of women out there that do have a pretty adamant opinion on their tow vehicle, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before I forget. Yeah. Happy birthday to my wife today. Oh, happy birthday, Stacy. So, all right, got that out of the way. <laughs> I'm good for another year. There you go. <laughs> Last year we were in the Dominican Republic at this time. Oh, well, this is a, this is a real winning year then, isn't yeah. it? I looked at the, some of the pictures this morning and wished I was back in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I could imagine. So, so we we said, you know, trucks. What's your, what's your thoughts on trucks? Mm -hmm. Next one, guys, what do you, uh, what do you think, travel trailer or fifth wheel? Okay, so I do have an opinion on this one, and I'm fifth wheel all the way. That's what we have. I've pulled our fifth wheel not very much, but I've pulled it before, and I have to agree for me, pulling the fifth wheel is a lot smoother. So, you know, the, the funny thing for me, uh, I'm, I, there's things I like about both. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a destination trailer with the sliding patio door. I love it. Right. Uh, but I, I think if I was going to travel, if, if I was really going to head out and travel, it, it would be a fifth wheel. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's... There's ways you can make that travel trailer easier to pull. So, yeah, tell us what you guys think. What do you prefer, fifth wheel or travel trailer? That's it. And then we have a shout-out to, we. I think it's the Authors, A-L-T-H-E-R-R. -R. Yep. Author. Uh, happy anniversary, guys. Yes, happy anniversary. It looks like you guys had a great time in your new hideout, so that's exciting with the puppies. Love the puppies. Got the fur babies. You know, they just got their camper and they already have a camping sign. And I've had my camper for three years now and still don't have a camping sign made. I don't have a camping sign either. We've had a camper for four, five years and we don't have a sign either. I know. Stacy has shopped all winter. We have multiple of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're still in boxes in the basement ready to go to the campground, which I'll have to do next week. And, oh, but. that's awesome. Oh, so yeah, the next thing, I want one of these personally. The swinging, the ginormous swing hammock thing. I don't even know what you would call this thing. That's a that's a dude's hammock too. 
I would take a nap in this all day long. So the reason I say it's a dude's hammock, what? it's got a frame around it so you don't like flip and roll out of it when you reach over to get your beer or your cocktail <laughs> or your glass of iced tea or water or whatever your right. preferred drink is right. when you're lounging. Uh, and it's really only big enough for one person, as you can tell. They should have put, he should have built cup holders onto it. See, that's what I was thinking. Put some cup holders on there and then you're, you got it. It's, you nailed it. But yeah, I like, I honestly, okay, don't tell my husband. I like that there's only room for one person. Like, I'm not sharing this. Yeah. <laughs> this moment, this nap. And then more camping signs. More camping signs. So you should be able, all the ones that Stacy's bought, you should be able to share some of yours. Yeah, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen them yet. Well, when you put them out at the campsite, yeah. take some pictures. The coolest thing is we now, we have this big flamingo. It's like five foot tall. Yeah. It's a metal flamingo. And Stacy may have, in fact, bought clothes that, like shirts that will go on it or found some shirts that, that can go on it so he can have different. Oh, so it's like customers. an updated version of the goose. Do you remember the goose? I, like everybody yeah, would have that yeah, my on mom, there? Yeah, my mom had a goose. Yes. And they sewed the clothes for it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I remember I don't those. think my mom sewed the clothes, but. You probably could have bought them. I mean, they right. were that popular. I do remember my mom having a. Uh, the goose on the front porch, and it had the rain had a raincoat rain on. Coat, and and rain I thought coat, that yeah. kind of that kind of defeats the purpose for a goose. <laughs> you know, the goose is all about the water. <laughs> but yeah, ab- absolutely, some super cool. Um, actually, the bottom two came from the same families. Yeah. So the f- yeah, try that one. Mm, yeah, no. Fredrizowski's. Fredrick Frederick Chowski Kowski's. Krajowski's. I think I think Mallory was closer on no, that. No, it's sh- ch is a sh. <laughs> it's a sh sound. Look at Two of my two of my best friends growing up, Shimanowski and Shimaleski. And when I learned how to spell them, I thought I could win the national spelling bee. Krajowski's. Krajowski's. I, I would. That's how I would go with it. Pr- Look at us using hooked pr- on phonics, guys. It's Fred Drychowski. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Drychowski. Yeah. If you guys are watching this, Whew. please call in with a <laughs> with a pronunciation. <laughs> we anyway. need to know now. Absolutely. Uh, I love these pictures. So around the web, yes, these are awesome, and some of them I'm even wondering how you even got into that predicament. Like, how did that even occur? So yeah, first one. Motorhome falling off of the... Backing off the driveway thing there. Porch. I don't know what this is, but could you imagine what goes through your head as this is happening? (laughs) My guess on that one is that they had it parked there and maybe they didn't put the brake on or something or put the the blocks under it and it rolled off. Or you're in one of those situations where you think you're in drive, but you're not. Well, (laughs) it's a... So, it's a... uh, A... Diesel. It's a diesel motorhome, so it has an it has an air brake. Okay. So they could have parked it so that the diesels have a push button transmission. You know, R for reverse, N for neutral, and D for drive. They don't have a park. Okay. So probably best chance they thought did, they were in park. Th- they put had it neutral and didn't set the parking brake. Mm-hmm. Thought they pushed it in and it didn't go in. That picture reminds me, though, of that scene from RV with Robin Williams when he yeah. starts to tip <laughs> it back and forth. On the, <laughs> on the back, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, that was not, probably not a happy moment. <laughs> so, And then the one, the one right below it. The truck. The, this one here. The truck camper. The, yeah. the, the eight-foot truck camper on the five-and-a-half-foot bed. <laughs> yeah, truck. you're bending that truck bed pretty bad. Whew. Just get in the truck, Karen. We got stuff to do. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I swear. <laughs> and uh, there's a ratchet strap on there. Yes, that's what I love the best. So the the observation <laughs> that I make on that is, so every time you use a ratchet strap to do everything, you always pull it down like one more. Yeah. You pull it one more, and then it comes out of your mouth uncontrollably. That'll that's do not, it. Yeah, that'll do it, or that's not going anywhere. <laughs> and you've got to do the obligatory pull yeah, on it. Pull yes. on it. <laughs> yeah. Got it. 
Got it. So check this one out in the canal. Yeah. <laughs> Back, yeah, that's, see, probably same situation then. Which Karen, you, you want a water bed? I'll give you a <laughs> water bed. Water bed. I mean, that could have been a bad situation. Yeah. Maybe it's their first time out. Picture this. <laughs> it's their first time out. Okay. All he wants to do, maybe maybe the roles are reversed. So one of the couple just wants to relax and have a good vacation, and the other one won't stop nagging. Yeah. One goes back to take a nap in the bedroom, and the other one goes, I, I could sell this as an accident and backs off into the canal. <laughs> now, think about this, though. We Both of you will admit it. We love the people watching the campgrounds, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always entertaining to watch people pull their campers in, right? Yes. I mean, we will actually go outside with a cold beverage and watch people. Yep. Yes. Eventually, we'll help, but right. we like to watch first. Imagine if you're at that campsite next to it and you see this happening in real time. <laughs> but notice, yeah, notice, so this thing's been here for a while. And here's how I, how are my reasoning for that. There are no people. That's a sidewalk that they, that's, you know, under the front of them. There are no people standing on the sidewalk. So this this had been there long enough that people had went, Phew, man, yep. That stinks, and then walked away. And walked from away. It. <laughs> they went on with their life. Yeah. How many people do you think went back to their campsite and made sure that their wheel chalks oh, were definitely. in place and oh, they definitely. were in park? <laughs> Yeah, we are definitely guilty of those people. You know, you, you we even get there early on a Thursday so that we're there all day Friday yeah. for when people start pulling in. Because, yeah, you got to witness oh, some yeah. of it. Yep, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be good. <laughs> I, um, will, I will admit I had one spot. We went to a random campground Sarah wanted to go to. And when they took us back there, you know, we have a 32-foot-long travel trailer and a 30-foot-long full-size truck. Right. When they took us back there, I was like, there is no way I'm going to get this turned into this spot. There was cars on both sides. It was super tight. And it took me every bit of 45 minutes to back the camper into that spot. Everybody watching. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those where I couldn't help it. Like, it was a horrible... Trees on both sides of my camping spot. Like, yeah. it was awful. We've been in that situation. We went up to Mishawaka... And we've got a pretty large fifth wheel, and my husband had to circle that campground like three or four times to try to get in the right position to back it up. And I, me and my dad are out trying to help, you know, flag him, direct him where he needs to go. And all of a sudden, this guy shows up next to us with a beer, just with all his commentary of Derek trying to back up this camper. So we've been on the flip side of it, mm -hmm. where people have their cold beverage watching us, too. So... I don't just judge. We've been on the flip side too. Yeah, we. Uh, I went camping with some buddies a few years ago with a big, big toy hauler. Friend, uh, some friends have it. This big, massive, uh, all-American toy hauler. So we've got this dually truck, and there's like four. My my cousin Kyle and three or four other buddies, and we get to this place and we start down this long gravel driveway that's you know, trees on both sides. And after we go literally like a half mile down, this guy comes out and goes, you can't, you're not going to be able to turn that thing around down here. And I said, well, you know, where can we park to camp for the weekend? And he said, well, just pull over there to the side of the drive, but there's not enough room. You're going to have to back that thing back out of here. So Sunday, when we're leaving out of there and everybody else at the event's trying to leave out of there, We've got the whole driveway blocked or people walking <laughs> along next to us. But I'll tell you this, like a champ all the way down that driveway, backed all the way out, never off the driveway once, out into the middle of the road, you know, you go. got turned and got out of there. And people were like, I, I don't know how you're going to do that. But you did it. It was, yeah, it was, it was a pretty funny experience. So, so speaking of how are you going to do that, this next one, the, <laughs> I... <laughs> The, I don't even know logistically like, so, what is 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 that no I, and it, it appears that there's no motor in it anymore no but does that classify as a motor home <laughs> or does it classify as a fifth wheel because it's kind of up on the trunk yeah and it's the trunk of a car not even a truck well you know 
I don't even think that car's going to go anywhere, though. I mean, look how low to the ground that thing is yeah. now. And once again, notice the ratchet straps <laughs> going through the... <laughs> so, and it looks like the, the ratchet straps are going up through the pillar where the door would shut. So now you got to get in like your Bowen Luke Duke. <laughs> Do you think they used the crane in the background to set it on the car? <laughs> I would imagine you'd almost uh, have to since there's no tires to yeah. like pull it up onto. 50 to 1 says somebody went, hey, y'all, watch, watch this. this. <laughs> you uh, can't do that. Here, hold my beer. Uh, uh, ben. You got a nice ocean view on this one. Probably a little bit more of an ocean view than you were expecting. I bet his wife was mad. mad. <laughs> See, I'm going to give the scenario like you did earlier with the feuding couple. So, wife wants to get closer and closer to the beach. She's not really helping the backing up process. He says, I'll show you, and he drives it into the water. Is that enough yeah. beach for you now? Yeah. yeah. He's been watching everybody else drive down the beach. Why can't I drive down the beach with my 12,000 pound toil? I mean, they're doing it. There's people over there doing it. And a Suzuki Samurai. Do you know how embarrassed you would be to be oh, sitting man. in that driver's seat with all the beachgoers? Nothing oh, nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Just trying to park the RV. Yeah. I wish these windows were darker. <laughs> that So that's probably... They probably have jet skis. So they're backing... So that's the toy in the yeah. back of the toy hauler. They're backing yeah. it up to get the jet so skis out. There, so there was... You know, going back to the, the pictures we were talking about, like the motorhome in the canal. So there was a thing I saw not too long ago on the news, maybe back over the winter, that a guy's back in his boat down the boat ramp to put it in the water. Yeah. And they had like a, a golden retriever or a, it's some sort of like decent sized dog. And while they're out trying to get the boat in the water, the dog's like walking around and so on like that and accidentally, you know, knocks the, the parking brake off and the motorhome and everything rolls backwards into the water. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, but the good thing is, because we have to find something positive about every picture. Yes. Notice in the back of the truck right here. The grill is right there. Okay, see, I so, thought that was a grill, but yeah. it wasn't. A so thing. even while he's waiting on help, some a uh, tow truck, he can still make some hamburgers and hot dogs right there. That's right. All right. Up next, gadget corner. This is the time that's super important to be checking all your seals, mm -hmm. checking all that stuff, making sure that that you've got all your I's dotted and T's crossed to save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, so we're not really talking about a specific gadget today. We're just talking about the importance of maintenance, really, to save you a lot of money in the long run. Yeah. So in industry news, lately we haven't had a whole lot to talk about. No. We did get notification that a lot of the manufacturers are, are open back up and production is coming back online, which is a great thing, getting people back to work. Yes. But we thought about something that we don't normally talk a whole lot about our about our dealership. Mm -hmm. So there's some important things that we've been doing. Right. So first and foremost, we are open for normal business hours. So we are back to full schedule, normal business hours. Um, so definitely come see us, come check us out. Yep. Um, we have drop off for service and parts. So yep. that if you're still not wanting to go into the building, you don't Drop have to. Drop off and pick up. And pick up. Yes. So if you don't want to go into the building still, you don't have to. We've installed SNE shields in all customer touch points. So our receptionist, uh, the sales professionals desks all have SNE shields. Mm -hmm. uh, the cashiers, uh, counters, everything like that all have those in place. Yep. Um, we have signs posted everywhere that uh, we're observing social distancing, our distance here. <laughs> That's right. And all staff are avoiding common areas. If we're not with a customer, we're making sure that we are in our office or where we need to be so that we're not all huddled and grouped together in one spot. Yep. Um, we are all wearing, the staff is all wearing face masks as well. So. 
and we have uh, in, increased the amount of cleaning done in all of our common areas where clients and staff may be, um, and fogging disinfectant uh, several times a week uh, in the facilities. So yeah. lots of cool stuff. And then yesterday, Chad installed those cool things on the door so you could open yeah. them with your foot. You don't even have to use your hands to open our doors. Guys. Yeah, yeah. You just put your your toe on them and pull them open. Yep. Super cool. I can't really make them work yet. I, I keep trying, but yeah, my shoe doesn't grip it very well, but I'll get it practiced. It's probably because your feet are like this big. Okay, that could be part of it, but. <laughs> so yeah, we are taking as many steps possible to help not only protect you as the customer, but our staff as well. Yeah. So we want to obviously have everybody you know, continue to come in and see us. The campgrounds are opening up and, and getting and getting there. And we're getting back to, uh, and I hate this term, the new norm. Right. I, I, I hate that term, but that's what they keep saying. We're getting to the new norm. Um, but, you know, America's opening back up. We're all going to we're gonna make it through this and have a great time, guys. I mean, we'll look back on this in 10 years and go, ooh. Remember that. Remember that? That was like living in the Stone Ages. <laughs> so, yeah, but. another fun episode of Camping Corner. Look forward to it next week again, too, guys. Week 17. Yes. The the longest running, is this, have we surpassed the longest running weekly show in Walnut Ridge Family RV history? To my knowledge, yes. We are like the friends. <laughs> Uh, Days of Our RV Lives was pretty close. It may be right around 16, 18 episodes. I'd have to go look, but right, it's so like we, right we there. So we're on the brink. Yeah. Okay. We expect like a, some sort of celebration for episode 20. I hope you're bringing the supplies. <laughs> oh, wow. We have to supply our own celebration party. We're, we'll do it. We'll put a keg right here. <laughs> Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.